Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I would like to talk to you about the Lenovo slash IBM X3650 model 2 and 3 because I have seen in the comments over the last period of time that more and more people are getting these servers as uh, their lab server, home server, whatever server. I've seen that they have increased in popularity quite a bit and that's probably because this server it's getting cheaper it's like well priced you can get one of these m3s for under 200 dollars nowadays Unky Joe's Playhouse which uh, also does server videos like me he has recently gotten an m3 and even though he's still a Dell fanboy well he's not complaining that much only issue is that Apparently they make more noise than a Dell server. I don't care much about the noise because I have my own little data center and it's off. It's not in the middle of the house so I can kind of move the noise into one area of the house and not have it all over the house. So it's okay for me but, but it is really recommended that if you want to play with high-end enterprise server equipment well don't have it running under your bed so what do we want to talk about today i was um, i wanted to talk about hard drives because when you get a used server like this it usually only comes with one two or three hard drives that's that's the normal thing and usually they're pretty small these servers are back from 2009 13-ish so back then the drives wasn't that big I've gotten a lot of questions about drives so I thought that we should try and have a bit of a chat about that so I prepared some on the table over here okay so here at the table I have some of the options that are available for them and I would recommend in the Lenovo slash IBM X3650 M2 and 3 the normal thing is that the server comes with maybe just one drive and it's usually a nice uh, they have these nice cages and it's very often a SAS drive and from the area where this server is from it's very often a 146 gigabyte drive that is in there uh, back then this was the go-to drive and you um, well if you didn't want to pay an arm and a leg and your firstborn child well you could get some of these and you would still uh, still be good so uh, if you um, if you're lucky well you got three of those and the drives are not that great anymore mostly because the amount of storage on them is not great anymore we are we're getting used to more so we want to probably expand that quite a bit so if money is tight you can go out and get SATA drives and these are a couple of SATA drives just picked out of a regular laptop so these are 320 gigabyte SATA drives that means that each of these drives are about twice the size of of these SAS drives that came with a server um, but these are also from 2012 ish uh, yeah both of them actually a lot bigger drives are available from laptops you can probably easily find something for from a laptop that is one terabyte or maybe even two terabytes if you go higher than that more than two terabytes they become expensive and you might want to look into SAS drives as well they go all the way up to about five six terabytes and that's the maximum it's not it's not the cheapest when you get up into those sizes you start paying a lot of money for that you always pay more for the last little bit in the x3650 model 3 um, there is this model of rate controller not exactly this but this generation of rate controller this is the kind of the top one that was available for that server this is back from 2010 and this is the m5015 and this is a 6 gigabit rate controller and with the latest firmware installed on these rate controllers let's have it out of the box see what it looks like here are the rate control it goes into that special slot that there is in the m2 and the m3 up in front of the server and we get two ports out so we can handle um, 
the first eight drives without doing much work at all. This is the the top line I said this one has its own cache on board with battery backup uh, this one even has a little key here for um, more features back in back when this was new uh, th this was how they they gave you more features you could get rate 6 on this and stuff like that um, so you bought a little extra thing and you paid an arm and a leg for that but this is the rate controller that is um, well if, if you want to go shopping this is the one to get it's also available in smaller models there are the M1015 M5014 and this is the M5015 so um, well really good rate controller that rate controller will also handle SSD drives this being an old IBM one like this or a brand new Samsung SSD 850 Pro here one terabyte awesome it will run that no problem whatsoever and also in the M3 there is room inside for this bootable USB stick and if you just need some storage in there well you can get these fairly big nowadays so if you really wanted to you could get a 256 gigabyte usb key and put in there for some extra storage uh, that would be a pretty cheap solution to do that probably not as cheap as just getting a good hard drive from a laptop that well laptops break you know the hard drives might still be good if you want to go even more fancy you can um, take advantage of this nvme ssd drive this is um, an m.2 for doing that you can't use the rate controller anymore that is not compatible but you can go out and only for a few dollars you can get a card like this this is a card that goes in the pci express port of your server and this one is kind of special because it has it has room for three different kind of cards nothing on the back though um, but it has the NVMe drive here. The NVMe drive connects to the server through the PCI Express. Then we have an M.2 SATA drive up here. And we have a mini SATA SSD over here that can go here. And both of them will use the SATA port. The M.2 and the M.3 does not really have that many SATA ports. So uh, you can steal the one from the CD-ROM drive. But it's an option. I have tried this and it will work so that's pretty cool and the NVMe drive if you put in an NVMe there's nothing in this box yeah I just kept the box that runs really fast if you hook that up um, and these cards I think I paid a little bit for this one because it had three slots if you just want one or two they're really cheap I think I've gotten those down to five dollars if if this piece is not there so that's a good option you get a lot of performance with an NVMe drive in there I got a really good question not long ago someone in the comments was going to buy an x3650 model 2 or 3 I forget which and he asked me which question should I ask the seller about this server and what should I ask for I suggested that he should ask for extra drive cages if I was a company and selling my old server I might um, I might sell it with one or three discs but I might just have taken out the other five to seven drives just because there was valuable data on those drives and I didn't want that data to end up in the wrong hands so ask for the drive cages do you have extra drive cages for the server they might have the cages and just didn't want to take the drives out of there and when asked well it's probably not a big deal if someone really wants them you might want to do the effort of just taking out the drives that you're not going to give them but they can have the cages and as I said these cages are at least four to five pounds so a little bit more dollars also be sure to ask for the rack rails if um, you might not have a rack or racks and you might not need the rails for the server but if you're ever gonna sell that server again rack rails and the cable management arms on the back of the server well it's a good thing to have laying around to sell with the server because it's it's kind of a plus if um, if I'm gonna buy a server from you I would ask for the rack rails because I need rack rails and 
if if I buy one of these M3 servers here without rack rails well I can easily go spend 40 50 dollars on a pair of rack rails because they are not widely available nobody sells the rails well somebody does but the prices goes up considerably also it's a good thing to ask about the the IMM uh, hardware key inside of the server the little blue thing I'll put a picture of it over there um, if the server comes with that it's normally not a thing that people take out of the server it's not the you can't use it for much but um, well ask for that as well if it's not there they will say it's not there and well it's $15 on um, Amazon so it's not a that big a deal also just ask if they have any spare parts for the server laying around if they they might have bought something they might have replaced something have it on a shelf and now they're selling the server to you for a good price uh, they might not need this anymore and you can get this for nothing or next to nothing or they're just happy to get rid of it and if you ask you might have just gotten yourself something awesome for very cheap or nothing at all so why is this server becoming popular well more or less only because the prices has gone down on them and it's an awesome server these m3s and the m2s here oh, both servers can handle the intel xeon 5600 series and the top level of that series are six cores processors so you can put in two cpus each of them will have six cores and they're not very expensive anymore i have in in some of my m3s over here i have the processor called x5650 it's a six core processor 2.667 gigahertz and it's down under 50 bucks a piece that's really cheap and it's a kick-ass processor two of those and you have a server that will kick ass and and fly over everything else that you would otherwise have to pay 500 plus dollars for uh, to get the same amount of processing power yes they are noisy and yes they do more than just sip at the power they do use their amount of power it's not meant to be low noise or totally power efficient it's meant to run 24 7 and not die on you when you don't want them to so here is a couple of x3650s model 3 this one and this one this one has the this configuration you can really expect three drives uh, this one is kind of special because I have expanded this one uh, normally you get this you get eight drives and then you get two fillers and behind there there is nothing but if we well that goes that way if we look at these up here I'm gonna take a couple of those out you can see there is a back plane in there that's because I have expanded this server so I'm able to put in 16 drives in this server and I did a video on that so if this is something that you would like to do well I would recommend you to go watch that video it's not that expensive the spare parts to do that is getting really affordable you should definitely watch my videos before doing that because there are some cables and stuff that might mess it up for you so but 16 drives you can get in the server this is the regular stuff you can also sometimes see it where it's where it only have four drives yeah it depends on how cheap the person was when they got the server so here i have another couple of servers and these i have actually replaced the drive you can see the drive says that this is well you can't see that right now but you can see that it's it says it's a 146 gigabyte sas drive but when we look inside of it it's actually an ssd uh, 120 gigabyte ssd drive that is in there so i have done exactly what i said i have replaced the drives that it came with with ssds instead and it works marvelous oh i forgot to mention if you have an older lenovo slash ibm x3650 model 2 to be able to use the intel xeon 5600 series you need to update the firmware on the server to a fairly new level the old firmware is not able to use the new processors but 
I have seen these servers grow a lot on my channel. More and more people are writing that they are just getting this server and awesome, it's an awesome server. So uh, please leave in the comments below if this is a server that you have or are thinking about getting. And I'm sure that we can have a good discussion down there about your experience with this server. I've had really good experience with it myself. Never had one die, only had an M4 die. And well, and I have surely documented that. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.